All right, so this is how you clean your DPF and your catalytic converter when you have codes or the DPF light on. You're gonna remove your O2 sensor from the back over here. That right there is your O2 sensor right there underneath that, uh, that one right there that I'm touching. So you remove your O2 sensor and you're gonna put this down in there. But the steps to do it properly is you first have to get the car running up to operating temperature, like 170 plus degrees on the coolant. So it should be very hot, regular operating temperature. After you get it really hot, you might have to remove the turbo sensor to access the O2 sensor. But you remove the O2 sensor and you simultaneously press the can as you insert the nozzle so then the nozzle doesn't melt onto the DPF because it should be ripping hot. The first can you do, it's going to fill up and it's not going to drip down as easily. It's going to take a long time for the can's cleaner to go through the DPF. So you're gonna do little intervals. Once it starts squirting out, you let it settle. You keep going back and forth five second intervals to spray the whole inside of the DPF. Once you have the full can sprayed with five second intervals, letting it drip down, the first can's gonna take the longest. Uh, I, I don't remember how long mine took, but I remember it was the longest can was the first can because you spray a little bit, it drips down very slowly. After you're done with the first can, you're going to put back the O2 sensor and if you remove the uh, DPF sensor, you're going to put that back too. You don't have to remove the catalytic converter for this. You leave everything intact, you turn the car on, you rip it for two minutes to four minutes until all the white smoke is gone. I took it around the block uh, on the first can, only the first can just for five minutes just to get it ripping hot so I can go past 2500 RPMs. After it's all done with the first can and you come back, you remove the O2 sensor again with it ripping hot, dump the second can in there. The second can's gonna go a little bit easier but still gonna take some time. There's gonna be a lot of uh, evaporation happening. It's gonna be steaming out of the DPF because it's so hot, that's what you want. That's how it works. That's how you get it to clean everything out properly. You dump the whole can in there, five second intervals. If it starts coming out, wait for it to settle down, spray it back in there, five second intervals until the whole can is empty. Replace the, deep, the O2 sensor, rip it again for two to four minutes until the exhaust is all clear and it's not all white. Then you have to remove the O2 sensor, put in a third can. The third can is going to go in a lot faster than the first two. So you're going to have to press it as you dump it in simultaneously. And you're going to dump the whole can in there. It's going to run through way quicker, just like water going down the sink and it's gonna be a lot of steam, a lot of evaporation because the DPF should be extremely hot. You're gonna replace the O2 sensor after you've finished the third can. You're gonna turn the car on again, rip it, just floor it for 2500 uh, RPMs for two to four minutes until all the smog is gone. On the fourth can, this is what the trick is. The fourth can, you remove the O2 sensor, you dump the fourth can in, going back and forth. It should all just flow all the way in there, just dump the whole can in. It shouldn't uh, have any restriction. It should be very nice and easy and steaming. It should be exploding. It should be very hard for you to breathe because it's so much evaporation in your face. That's how you know you're doing it right. You completely empty the fourth can in there replace the O2 sensor, but this time you want everything back to normal so you can take it for a nice drive. 
Volkswagen recommends 40 to 50 minutes in fourth or fifth gear. Um, anywhere from 70 kilometers to 120 kilometers per hour. I think that's uh, something between uh, 75 miles an hour and 50 miles an hour around there. So I drove on the freeway at 60 miles an hour for 40 minutes in fourth gear. And you do this in manual mode, put the car in fourth gear, 60 miles an hour, should be like about right between about 2200 RPMs, right between 2500 RPMs. So it should be uh, 2250 RPMs, right, in, right between uh, 2000 RPMs and 2500 RPMs. So that's what cleared it for me and all my codes are gone. Remember you need four cans, four cans. It doesn't work with just one, you need four and it's a process. With this process it's going to clear out your whole DPF system and your catalytic converter system and also doing the regen after the fourth can. That means you're going to go ahead and put everything back after the fourth can and you're not going to just rip it. You're going to go and take it for a drive. You're, you're going to take it for a 40 to 50 minute drive without stopping, without slowing down, without speeding up. You have to put it in cruise control, fourth gear, 60 miles an hour for 40 to 50 minutes without hitting the brake, without hitting the gas. I watched the, uh, on the uh, ODB sensor, I watched uh, the OBD reader, I watched the computer tell me that the regen for the NOx sensor desulfurnization happened and after that everything was good. My regen happens all the time but over 40 to 50,000 miles, 50, after like 50,000 miles, there's heavy metals accumulated in the DPF that cannot be cleared out with regen. That's the purpose for these cleaners. They recommend every 3,000 miles you use these cleaners. I see it work 100%. Even after the first can, I saw a noticeable difference inside the DPF. So remember, you have to use four cans. After the fourth can, you have to take it for a drive for 40 to 50 minutes from Fourth gear, you cannot slow down or speed up. You have to travel at 60 miles an hour in fourth gear manual mode cruise control. You cannot slow down, you cannot hit the brake, you cannot hit the gas. It has to be untouched so it could do a proper regen of the catalytic converter and the DPF sensor and everything. So remember, four cans, do your uh, Regen after the fourth can and you should be good Have a great day